I live in the same house since my birth till I'm 18. It used to be my grandfather's house, and he gave it to his sons. We all live together, my father and his two brothers with their wives and children. Our grandpa passed away when I was about to born. When me and my cousins were young, our parents scared us by telling that before grandpa bought this house. There were husband and wife been murdered and their bodies were found in our water tanks and they became ghosts now. They told us this story to keep us away from the roof and water tanks as they all go to work. At my young age, I didn't notice these paranormal stuff happening, but after I reached 11, my life changed. We all had separate room, but me and my two sisters shared one room. I was just watching some videos on YouTube until late at night. It was around 2 o'clock a.m. and my sisters were asleep on their bed. My bed was the middle and the room was pretty dark. I could see only my mobile phone then someone just tapped my knee three times. I was jumped with fear. I quickly used my phone light to see who it was but no one was there. I thought it was only my imagination and then I covered myself with a blanket and tried to sleep. And suddenly, I saw a white shadow of both men and women with long hairs and a young girl. I screamed as loud as I could. Everybody woke up, but they never believed me. That night, I shared my bed with my cousin, and I started noticing that kind of stuff later on day. After that day, two police officers came in our house and meet my father. Me, my sister, and my cousins were watching from the stairs, and the police officers told him that they were looking for the murderers of Mr. and Mrs. They said they could not found for years, so they are going to close this case. We also found out that the Mrs. was pregnant at the same time she was murdered. We were all scared. Another big incident was happened last month. My mother was working in the kitchen and I was also sitting there gossiping with her. I mentioned the case of Mr. and Mrs. and suddenly the glass table beside me was broken. I was lucky that I stood up at the right moment, but there was no explanation of how it broke. In my house, there are 18 people living and everybody has a haunting experience every time we mention their case. We are still living in that house as nothing serious harm has happened to anybody. But I am still afraid.